Hello friends, my name is Alex Grekis and I want to welcome you to the Finding Lost Civilization series. Today I'm returning to the Black Mountain Rock Art District. Now this area contains over 12,000 petroglyphs and I tell you it's quite amazing. During my trek in the mountains I found an unnamed canyon that contains some fabulous petroglyphs. And so I invite you to come with me on this short trek because I know we're going to have a fun time. mountains in this unnamed canyon. We're just walking around trying to find signs of ancient life. So we dropped in here and the first thing that we saw was this over here. So there's a series of symbols over there. And I looked over here and look at this here a bunch of peck marks with a circle here and that looks like uh, a little mortar area, a little grinding area uh, for seeds and whatnot in this location. So let's take a look right over here, uh, continue to walk around and look there's a boulder right over here. Again we we see these ancient symbols uh, right over here. So what we'll end up doing is uh, walking down this small little wash canyon and see if we can find any more signs of life. So we've been walking down this canyon right here and looking at the walls and uh, look at this over here, very old, faded. Uh, can you see this right here? Very interesting. And then right over here there's a let me move this. Yeah, it looks like it, it comes around this way. Um, yes, and it goes all the way around down to here. So, very interesting. Well, as we continue to walk down this uh, canyon. We found several symbols over here. Uh, again, these are, I don't know, maybe not too exciting, but they're the loops, whirls, swirls, um, desert archaic style. Here we have another, what we call the rake, or a rain symbol. Uh, then we have one right up there. Let's go up there and take a closer look. This one also is very old if you take a look at it. Now one of the things I want to mention, you know, I uh, call this here the rake or the rain symbol. These are all uh, modern names attributed to this. We have absolutely no idea uh, what they mean and uh, what they stand for. So we give them these modern names, I guess, just to uh, satisfy our own imagination. So as I continue adjacent to that boulder, here you go, again, we see the, what I continue to call the rake, and right up here is another symbol. So quite a few of these in this area, um, quite a few. I see another one on this wall over here. Uh, let me, there, there you go, the squiggly lines right here. And, uh, Oh, I noticed some right over here, so let me work my way. Uh, look at this over here. These definitely look uh, like these striations here, really deep ones, fan-like right here. Very interesting. And uh, right over here, I believe, there's several other symbols. There's one directly ahead of us. 
Okay, let's walk towards it over here. There you go, very faded. Now over here, oh look at this here. It looks like, uh, is that Lisa? Okay, Lisa was here in 1981. Let me move the bush here a little bit and we could take a look at it. There it is, 1981. <laughs> at least she didn't put her initials and symbols uh, on top of this one right here. So, definitely many, many symbols here, very old, very faded. Uh, there's another one right here on this wall. I'm going to pass it here to our immediate right over here. Can you see it? So this is uh, another perspective. Uh, there you go right here. And there's something here. This is interesting. It just goes like this. I've seen these before. Okay. So, we'll continue to uh, take a look at these canyon walls to see if we can find some more symbols. Well, as I walk down, I pass this big boulder right over here. Uh, there's a lot of symbols on here. If you take a look right over here, uh, you can tell there's a, a big one right here. Some kind of looks like a, I don't know, almost like a fan shape. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, here, you can see these lines right here maybe a sunburst, it's very difficult to tell. Right here are some more. Uh, looks like a ladder right over here. And uh, what I'm going to do is, here's some more right over here. And then, of course, right up here. And there's another symbol right up there. Well, as I was continuing to search along the walls, I came upon this boulder right over here. And look at this very interesting symbol over here. Uh, you can actually see the strike marks, the peck marks. And so the symbol goes this way, down this way, and this way, and of course, here like this. Very, very interesting symbol. It's the first one that I've seen here in this area. continuing our search and this is a very interesting symbol. Uh, look at this over here. Uh, what I'm showing here particularly is the coloration. Look, look how dark were the uh, striations where the marks were to create this symbol. So this is really really old. Uh, let me show you something else over here. Right next to it here's another series of symbols. You can hardly even tell they're here. But look, there's a circle with a cross in the middle and uh, some kind of square type pattern right here. Very hard to tell um, or see because of the coloration and the, uh, I guess, the age.
Well, friends, one of the questions we might ask ourselves is what do these petroglyphs actually mean? Well, the quick and true answer is we really don't know. One of the things that we do know is that people transited or lived in this area as far back as 12,000 years ago. But we have no information of who these people were and where they went to. Now we do know that the last native group of people that lived in this area were known as the Serrano and they arrived here about 2,500 years ago. And so most of these petroglyphs are a mystery to us as to their meaning and who the people actually were that placed them there. Anyways, I hope you continue to truck with me as we visit ancient sites that time has long forgotten.